In this lesson we're going to look at automatic numbering and serialization. To do this, the first thing we must do is type in some text. So I'll click on our text tool, go up here and type in a letter, and then we can bring up the auto number window. Now we do this from this fly out here, where we can click on auto number. Alternatively, we can go up to the text menu and come down here and click on automatic numbering to bring up the auto numbering and serialization window. On the right hand side we have some numbering options, down here we have some text options, and down here we have some spacing options. If I click apply here, whatever I have in here is then applied on the left hand side as you can see. I can also use the cut, copy and paste options or load and save to bring in text files with numbers in them already which, which you may have created in Excel or some other program. I've got one here, 1 through 96. If I just copy that to the clipboard, move that out the way, and go paste, you can see how it brings it in. If I click on apply again and I go load, I've got some numbers.txt which I prepared earlier. I can click on open and as you can see it comes back in again. Now, the start number can be any number from 1 through to a billion, as can the end number. Uh, you can increment by numbers that suits you and you can start at any number, say 100, and then you may end at, say, 10,000 and you may increment in lots of 100. Click apply and you can have up to a maximum 1,000 numbers in the preview, as you can see there. Now for this example, we'll do some lot numbers for a real estate agent. So I'll start at say 1 and I'll end at say 55 and we'll increment in lots of 1. I'll click apply and you can see on the left hand side under the preview here we've got 1 through to 55. These will be lot numbers so we'll do a prefix and we'll type in say lot and we'll type in a space, so there's a space between the number and the, the prefix. We'll do the same with suffix, we'll start with a space. Uh, Remax is our customer, so we'll type in Remax. And the other option that we might want to consider is the columns and the spacing. Now this is so that we don't end up with a great big long list of numbers in one long continuous list, so we'll do four columns in this case, and we'll space them by say an inch apart, we'll space the rows by say half an inch, just double check, we've got 1 through 55, lot Remax, yes all, all is OK, click apply and as you can see that's pasted into our drawing area. And you've got lot 1 all the way through to lot 55 in the four columns as we said with the one inch spacing and half inch between the rows. If I zoom in here you'll see that it's also applied the space between lot and 3 and the numbers and between the numbers and the suffix. Now this is now ready to do whatever you need to do, whether you want to print or cut it, and that's the end of this lesson.